Okay, this is the latest report on Typhoon Timbin that has just made its way over the Philippine Islands and is now making its way towards the southern Thailand, or not Thailand, Vietnam. So far, the death toll in Zamboanga Peninsula rose to 28. Altogether, it's 128 people dead altogether and 81 missing uh, from MSN News. Timon hit Bal or Balabac, a fishing island with nearly 40,000 people on the western Philippines on Saturday with gusts up to 71 miles per hour. During the storm, one man was killed by a crocodile while he was securing his boat as the storm closed in this weekend. And less than a week ago, or about a week ago, Kaitak left 54 dead and 24 missing in the central Philippines. Usually this area gets about 20 deadly storms every year. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and read off the Joint Typhoon Warning Center's forecast now in summary. It says, Typhoon Tenbin, located approximately 505 nautical miles southwest of Manila, Philippines, is tracked westward at 16 knots over the, the past six hours. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery depicts deep convection around the low-level circulation center associated with the Tenbin. The convection is slightly stronger in the western semicircle. The initial location is based on Himawari infrared satellite image showing strong convection indicative of a typhoon strength storm. Upper level conditions show favorable to moderate 15 to 20 knot vertical wind shear along with good near radial outflow. The initial intensity is assessed at 65 knots based on Vorak intensity estimates of TF.0 or TF.0 4.0 or, or 65 knots from both PGTW and RG, or RJTW. Timon is tracking westward under the steering influence of the subtropical ridge positioned to the north. The forecast reasoning is this. Timon will track westward under the steering influence of the aforementioned storm through uh, the next 48 hours. So right now it's, it's heading for the southern part of Vietnam. And right now it is considered a typhoon. And it is expected to be a stronger typhoon once it reaches the, the southern coast. So stay updated.